unintentionally and then we end up they end up becoming a, an artificial reef or sometimes we actually sink them intentionally because Florida reefs are in such big trouble this kind of takes some of the pressure uh, off of our real coral reefs here in Florida and artificial reefs provide a lot of things for the tourism industry actually over the years we've made 1.6 billion dollars in profits and created 26,000 jobs uh, because it offers a lot of opportunities to go out and snorkel and scuba dive and believe it or not, uh, having things like a sunken ship, um, as you can see our, our lovely resident grouper hanging out in it, it provides a, a habitat where a lot of our reefs unfortunately have been dying uh, at an exponential rate over the years. And this provides a marine habitat and it actually attracts a lot of different animals, including invertebrates, large fish like our grouper, sharks, uh, lobsters, and uh, algae actually and corals can form on these uh, metal depending on the type of uh, structure it is. So it does matter the material of the artificial reef, but oil rigs, ships, planes, these are great materials for uh, coral and algae to grow. And it eventually actually literally becomes an ecosystem in itself because we have sharks, we have invertebrates, we have all kinds of animals living in it. And then it's an opportunity to kind of take the pressure off of our real reefs. Uh, believe it or not, it also helps if we put it in shallow waters, which we've done all up and down Palm Beach County here. We've actually sunk in boulders and created these kind of marine sanctuaries right off the shoreline. And during hurricanes and storm surges, that actually, similar to mangroves, protects uh, the, uh, the, sh the shoreline from storm erosion. So that's another great benefit of it. And scuba divers, of course, this is just a sanctuary for us because we can go in and see all the animals we love uh, right off the shoreline, so that's a free dive site for a lot of people. And it also is a benefit to fishermen, although I'm not sure how I feel about that. But it does uh, provide an access uh, point for fishermen to collect snappers and groupers and fish that are very edible <laughs> and people like to eat. So that's just a few things about our mangroves I wanted to talk about today. As you can see, our shipwreck is really a great replica of what you would find uh, at a reef like this. You will literally have sharks, you'll have snapper, you'll have barracudas, you'll have lobsters, you'll have giant puffer fish, um, lots of eels. I mean, this is literally what you'll find, pork fish. So this is a great representation of an artificial reef. Uh, so I hope you guys learned a, a thing or two about artificial reefs today. And this is Becca, signing out. Yeah.